All right, fans of budget guitar gear rejoice because I've got a multi-effects board that combines amp simulation, cabinet simulation, preamps, effects, and a two-channel USB interface all into one unit, and it's all at a very friendly price. Let's check it out. All right, guys, so before we get started with this review, I want to address something real quick. You know, I've been doing these unboxing videos lately where I'm wearing armor, you know, like a helmet and gauntlets and everything, you know, this kind of stuff. And I've gotten some feedback in the comments where some people really don't like it. Uh, you know, they think, you know, that they just can't take me seriously when I'm wearing that stuff or it's distracting or whatever. So in this video, you know, no fooling around, no armor, nothing funny, nothing weird. I'm just going to do a very straightforward by the book uh, review for you and just, you know, I want to I want to know how you guys like it. Okay, now that that's out of the way, uh, on this video I actually have a really special guest who's going to be joining me on this video to help me uh, check this thing out. Uh, so please welcome one of the top guitar techs in Los Angeles today, Ralph Hitachikuchiya. Hey man! Ralph, thanks for being on the show, man. No problem! Sick setup you've got here, man. Like, how many guitars do you have now? Uh, I'm not totally sure. I, I think I'm at around 50 right now, give or take. Oh, so one guitar for every year that you've been alive. <laughs> uh, right, N not exactly. Uh, but anyway, we've got this uh, really cool little unit right here. Uh, it's a multi-effects board, combines a lot of cool different features, and it's from Veilton. Oh, yeah. Like, didn't you review an amp from them a while back? Yeah, I actually have it right back here, this cool little amp. And uh, this was such a cool little thing, I wanted to check out some of their other products. And so we, we have this uh, multi-effects right here called the, uh, the GP100. It's got a ton of different effects. It's got a whole bunch of amplifier you know, simulations and cabinet simulations. It's even got a looper. And one really, really cool thing about it is that it has a USB connection. And you can use this as a two-channel interface. So you can even record with it. And you guys know I always love budget-friendly stuff. And this thing only costs $150. $150? Oh, man. So it's just like more Chinese junk. Man, when are you going to review something nice, like, uh, like a Matchless or like a Friedman or something? Wait, wait, wait. Ralph, this thing is really nice. And, you know, some of the coolest gear being made today is coming out of China. I mean, did you see the... Uh, the Shiji uh, STE, the Relic Strat review that I did recently, that thing was awesome. And so is this. And, and not everybody can afford a $4,000 amplifier. Yeah, well, whatever. It's probably going to sound like complete garbage, man. You can't get good tone for 150 bucks. Dude, you're supposed to be helping me with this video. Let's just review this with an open mind. Okay, look, do you, do you have an iPhone? I mean, those are made in China. Everybody loves those. What? No way, man. I don't have a phone. Don't you know that the government tracks everything you do on there? Uh, okay, let's, uh, let's just, you know, we'll talk about this later. For now, I want to go ahead and plug this thing in and listen to how it sounds. What I'm going to do here is the sound that you hear on the video is going to be using the cabinet simulation. So this will be the same sound that you would hear if you're listening to this uh, through headphones or if you were plugging it directly into a PA. But remember, you can still plug this in you know, just to a regular guitar amplifier like you could with any other effects processor. And real quick, guys, if you enjoy videos like this and, you know, content about budget guitars and budget gear and you have not already subscribed, please consider subscribing right now. All right, guys, let's check it out. Yeah, okay, well, I'm going to move over there because I don't want to have to sit too close to this thing in case it explodes or something.
So, Ralph, now that you've heard it, how do you think it sounds? Uh, you know, I, to be honest, I, I thought it sounded really good tone-wise. Uh, yeah, well, I guess it was better than I expected. Right? And in particular, it was very responsive. Like, when you roll the volume knob down on the guitar, the amplifier models react the way you would expect them to. Also, there's a huge variety of tones on this thing. It's got a hundred presets, which you can edit, and of course you can create your own presets. Yeah, well, if it's got that many presets, why didn't you go through every single one with a variety of guitars? That's really the only way to do a true test of how it sounds. Yeah, well, that would make for a very long, very boring video, which not a lot of people would watch, so there's that. Oh, boo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. Mr. Guitar Max wants to have everything his way. Wah, wah, wah. Look, do you even want to be here? You're just complaining about stuff, dude. And w were you smoking in during my demo? I mean, could you please not smoke in my apartment? You know, I heard the uh, government puts tracking devices in cigarettes. Don't mess with me, man. I've got enough problems already, okay? Just chill out, okay? Let me just finish up the video. Now, one thing I did notice about the way a lot of the presets are programmed is they're programmed to achieve uh, sort of more traditional tones. So if you're looking for presets or sounds that are more aggressive, you might want to go in and sort of crank up the gain on some of these presets. Uh, all that being said, to change the presets, to edit them, it's very, very easy uh, with the, you know, the controls that are on the board. The presets, you know, the hundred presets that are there, of course they cover a wide variety of styles, so there's going to be some really good tones in there just right out of the box that you'll enjoy playing with. But of course, with all of the, uh, the editing capabilities, and the effects that are available in this unit. I mean, it, you know, the sky's really the limit for uh, as far as the sounds that you want to create on your own. Hey, have you heard the album Sign of the Hammer by Man of War? Uh, yeah, yeah, I definitely have. Some of the tones kind of remind me of that album. I'll, uh, I'll have to go back and listen to it. Uh, to be honest, though, Sign of the Hammer is, is kind of, you know, one of the weaker Man of War albums. Dude, All Men Play on 10 and The Oath, those are solid tracks. All right, well, I really uh, appreciate all the great help that you gave me, Ralph. Uh, thanks, for, uh, thanks for being involved in the video. Uh, now, guys, I'm going to go ahead, uh, like usual, put some links down in the video description below if you want to find a place that you can you know, get this. And I'm also going to have links down there for my other stuff, like my instructional material and my social media.
I think just sort of uh, as a last word on the GP100 here, if you're looking for a multi-effects unit that can just do a lot of different things and do it well, and it's something that's kind of compact that you can easily carry, and something that of course is going to be affordable, uh, I think this is just, it's a really good unit to check out. All right, guys, that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you soon.